BuzzFeed News reports that Apple has now removed Alex Jones's podcasts from its platform, saying Apple does not tolerate hate speech. Previously, Spotify has removed specific episodes, and InfoWars content has additionally been removed from Stitcher, Facebook, YouTube, and Pinterest. Spreaker, who describe themselves as the secondary host of the podcast, have also removed the podcast from their listings. In a response, the radio host claims... This is the modern-day electronic equivalent of book burning. And as a press time, his self-hosted RSS feed is still available. We'll link to that at podnews.net. Also, iOS podcast app Breaker has launched Breaker Upstream, the first open marketplace for podcasters to sell their premium content directly to listeners. The editor of Podnews, James Critland, that's me, has written an opinion piece about why you only need two buttons to promote your podcast, pointing out further benefits of only linking out to Apple and Google. Rajar in the UK have released new podcast consumption figures as part of their summer release of their Midas study. 12% of the adult population, that's 6.4 million people, listen to a podcast in an average week. 65% of podcast hours are via a phone, and podcasts are mainly consumed while working and studying. James Marius is the new head of podcast relations and operations at podcast websites. Jay Podvader Soderberg is no longer with Blog Talk Radio and Voxnest. He's tweeted. Audible SVP Eric Newsom has also announced he's leaving the company in the next few weeks. He writes, it's summer and it's f***ing beautiful outside. We hear he's not the only person to be leaving Audible's podcast division. If you know more, do let us know in confidence. Our jobs board is slowly growing. If you have a job to tell us about, it's free while in beta. And we link to plenty more at podnews.net.